In the early 1850s, the world stood on the brink of a new technological era. The dynamo, an electric machine capable of generating direct current, was still in its infancy. It was a time of experimentation, a time when brilliant engineers across the world were racing to unlock the true power of electricity. But the early designs were far from perfect. Machines were bulky, inefficient, and prone to overheating. The dream of harnessing electricity on a large scale needed more than trial and error. It needed a genius. And that genius was Nikola Tesla. Tesla didn't just tweak existing ideas, he reimagined them from the ground up. He wasn't content with machines that simply worked. He wanted machines that were efficient, powerful, and affordable. Machines that could drive the future. Today, we're taking a closer look at Tesla's brilliant improvements to the Dynamo electric machine. Welcome back to Science, Engineering, Technology Simplified. But before that, I have something special for you. Are you looking for top quality mechanical and automation components? Welcome to JLCMC.com, your trusted partner in engineering excellence. JLCMC provides small and medium businesses, SMBs, and DIY makers with a comprehensive supply chain for automated components, offering both retail and wholesale solutions. Our integrated production line guarantees superior quality while maintaining a competitive pricing advantage in the industry. We are committed to delivering cost-effective, high-performance solutions and are preparing to launch an affordable, fully customizable industrial service tailored for creators. Explore our massive inventory of over 600,000 products, including precision mechanical parts, linear motion systems, fasteners, couplings, pneumatic components, and aluminum extrusions. With no minimum order quantity, same-day shipping on in-stock items, and competitive pricing, JLCMC.com is here to streamline your projects. Plus, we offer free CAD and 3D models to bring your designs to life. Whether you're an engineer, manufacturer, or DIY enthusiast, JLCMC.com has everything you need to power up your innovation. Visit JLCMC.com today and experience the future of mechanical and automation solutions. Please click the link below in the description to visit the website. New user registration will get a $70 coupon. Let's dive deep into the mind of a legend. First, we will see the field magnets. The cores of the field magnets are tapered in both directions for the purpose of concentrating the magnetism upon the middle of the pole pieces. These field magnets are fixed to the connecting frame. The lower part of this connecting frame is provided with spreading, curved cast legs so that the machine will rest firmly upon the two base bars. Now, to the lower south pole is fastened the base with the help of a fusible diamagnetic material. This base is provided with bearings for the armature shaft, and it also has a projection which supports the brush holders and the regulating devices. Now we will see the armature. Nikola Tesla constructed this armature with a view to reduce to a minimum the loss of power due to eddy currents, the change of polarity, and also to shorten as much as possible the length of the inactive wire which is wound upon the armature core. So let us open it and discuss its design. Suppose you have an armature with one large cylindrical piece of iron. Now, when this armature is revolved between the poles of the field magnets, an eddy current is generated in the iron body of the armature. This eddy current heats up the iron piece and consequently causes a waste of power. Tesla observed that, due to the mutual action of the lines of force, the magnetic properties of iron, and the speed of the different portions of the armature core, these eddy currents are generated principally on and near the surface of the armature core and diminish in strength gradually toward the center of the core. Tesla also observed that under the same conditions, the quantity of eddy current is proportional to the length of the iron body in the direction in which these currents are generated. Therefore, he subdivided the iron core electrically in this direction into thin iron disks of various diameters, which were fastened upon the armature shaft in a suitable manner, so that a series of iron bodies is formed. Each of these iron bodies diminishes in thickness from the center towards the periphery. In this way, Tesla reduced the generation of eddy currents to a great extent, because eddy currents were principally developed on the portions of the armature that were most remote from the axis. But in the new design, the length of the iron in the generating direction is only a small fraction of the total length of the armature core. 
Beside this, the iron body is also subdivided in the generating direction. The iron discs may be insulated or coated with some insulating paint, but a very careful insulation is not necessary because the electrical contact between several discs can occur in places where the generated currents are comparatively weak. Another advantage of this subdivision was that the surface for heat radiation was increased. Therefore, heating of the armature core due to shifting of poles was reduced. Now at both ends, inwardly curved discs, preferably of cast iron, are fastened to the armature shaft. The wire is wound upon the armature in two superimposed parts, and the curve of the end discs is so calculated that the first part, meaning half of the wire, just fills up the hollow space, and the second part is then wound over it. But it is to be noted that the wire mass on both sides of this plane must be equal. By this design, Tesla reduced the electrically inactive wires to the smallest practicable length. Now we will see the commutator end. Here, we can see that the shaft is split, and the wires from the coils are passed through it, which are then connected to the commutator plates. At the end of the split shaft, an appropriate object is inserted which holds the commutator cylinder firmly in its position. In this way, Nikola Tesla increased the efficiency of the machine, and he also reduced the construction cost. As we move forward into the future, it's truly fascinating to reflect on how the foundations laid by brilliant minds like Nikola Tesla continue to shape the world we live in today.